Hello everybody, Skyhawk here. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program Mods Weekly Week 1. Yes, we are we will be doing a mods weekly from now on out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I have some very interesting mods lined up this week. So, let's jump right in. The first mod is Sido's Urina System by Big Sido. It includes seven new planets and eight moons. Now, this is a planetary system, so all the planets are basically moons of Urina, which is an interesting planet considering which way the inclination of the rings are to the average inclination of the planets. Um, but, um, who am I to judge? Uh, it's pretty well uh, optimized, to be honest. I haven't noticed any real bugs or anything. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, um, after the big blue ball with rings, we have kind of like a Mars analog called Ares. Um, it has... It's, it essentially is Mars, considering it has Phobos and Deimos. Um, it's a very vibrant planet. A lot of this is a little too vibrant for my personal taste, uh, but some of you may like it. A little face there, a little puddle of goo there, who knows what's up with that. Uh, next we got Vulcana, which is a hot ball of rock, <laughs> there's nothing much else to say. Uh, and its moon, Hepatorius, which is another hot rock, which has an interesting uh, band around the equatorial, the polar equatorial. Uh, or, or the polar orbit of it, um, which is similar to uh, Iapetus in one of Saturn's moons, uh, except it's on the actual equatorial. Uh, that, that was a collapsed ring system, but I don't think that's what uh, this is. Uh, then we got Rhea, which is a big ball of dust, and Lemini, which is a, a lemon, I guess. That's what that's supposed to be. Uh, Themis, which is another big ball of dust, and Minos, which is another really hot, hellish rock. Hestia, which has some like Aries, has some nice, uh, some nice auroras on the poles, but is a big green ball of goo. And uh, Phragrum, which is a very interesting body. Um, not a fan of the green and pink, and but just the the topography on this to me is kind of fascinating. Um, Yuroto, which is a giant snowball, and Eos, which is a, another big snowball with some, looks like some uh, tectonics happening on the surface due to uh, an ocean being underneath. And Cryos, which is just another big s snowball. The way I play Kerbal Space Program is I get the rocket as small as I can. I mean, it's all about launching tiny things, right? Uh, screw launching a giant rocket on this huge launch pad. That would just be crazy. So, we have for the people who want to keep everything as petite and small, well, not necessarily small, but as low cost as possible, we have Kerbloons by Joe Patrick One. Presently, it includes three point six two five meter balloons. There are plans to go to 1.25 meter balloons, still having three. Um, those three balloons are the heavy lifting balloon, the standard balloon, and the high altitude balloon. Additionally, there will be the standard high altitude and heavy of 2.5 meter and 3.5 meter balloons. Um, yeah, and those are in the works. This is a really new mod and it has a lot of potential in my opinion uh, it's just offers so much uh, early on to get science for low low uh, budgets which is a uh, really interesting uh, uh, interesting concept because basically you're just wa launching a giant weather balloon uh, this mod does come with uh, some unique sound effects like you heard at the beginning of the inflation of the balloon, and they do pop. Uh, the heavy balloon pops at the lowest, and that pops at around 12. The standard balloon pops in the middle, and that pops around 17 to 18. And the heavy balloon, no, not the heavy balloon, the high altitude, excuse me, 
uh, pops at about 25. So if you ever really wanted to do a whole bunch of extra science, but you didn't really want to go all over the freaking place to get said science, well, I have the mod for you. It is D-Magic Orbital Science by D-Magic 1. And includes, <coughs> excuse me, 13 new science experiments. 13 whole science experiments. It is compatible with universal storage, which is what you see here. Uh, the universal storage ones uh, also have variants of the stock experiments, which is quite interesting. They are generally put together, uh, so that's cool. Uh, we there are um, a variety of the new experiments include things like asteroid sounding missions. Uh, we have micro goo containment pods, which is a late uh, a late game sort of deal. Uh, the science lab micro uh, exobiology core drill optical telescopes, and there's more. There's also some new contract types. Uh, for example, we have uh, examining uh, for a mysterious signal and stuff of that nature. Ooh, that is an interesting picture. Yeah, let you look at that. Bit high in the bloom here, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so let's pop below the, car, the clouds and we can look at some of these uh, lovely new experiments. So, opening up, we have, oh, we're going to drop right into that crater. What do you know? So, right in front of me, I just have a basic universal storage with some uh, uh, gear in it. Uh, we have the micro goo containment unit right here. Uh, or not the micro goo, this is the standard goo, excuse me, fit, fit for universal storage. Uh, we have the atmospheric scanner. Uh, this is a pretty interesting one. Uh, definitely looks cool, I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, I don't really know if it's meant to be used in a uh, moving environment like this, but we'll continue here. And this is the uh, Science Junior packed into like a quarter of what it normally would be uh, and it is very handy because uh, oh, there the big parachute goes v very uh, it's a very interesting <coughs> way to do all the experiments here uh, so there are 13 of them plus uh, variants on the stock versions so thank you for watching my awesome people I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more like it once a week, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. It shows me everybody's interested. Give this video a like or uh, leave a comment. Uh, if there's any mods you'd like to see featured, please, please tell me. I'm always open to suggestions. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you later.